Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Up next on ESPN. It's been home of Kansas City football for more than 30 years now. They're set for football in the Truman Sports Complex, and you know where we're going. The venerable Arrowhead Stadium in KC. ESPN has a good one in store for you. Denver, Kansas City. This ought to be good. These fans have been tailgating for hours, and now they are just moments away from what they've been waiting for. Hello, and welcome to Arrowhead Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens. My partner in crime is Peter O'Keefe, and Peter, this game could boil down to a battle between two outstanding quarterback absolutely Dan these guys put both their teams in a position to win every night and this is the type of matchup that true football fans wait all year for number 15 is a quarterback with excellent mobility if he doesn't see something happening downfield or the pocket breaks down he doesn't mind scrambling in the least Number three is another quarterback who can single-handedly take over a football game. Though he's a bit undersized, you can't question his production. He can still run an offense with the best of them. I'll tell you what, Dan, both these guys have potential to light it up today. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins, but first, the toss of the coin. Heads it is. Number seven, kicking off for the Chiefs. There's the signal, and it's we're time ready. for Chiefs football. Number seven boots the opening kickoff. Number one decides to take it out of the end zone. The tackle at the 22. Number one took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. Come on, Kansas City. First and The Broncos will start this first play of the drive at their own 22-yard line. Williams has his number four. About three yards. Second and seven. Ball at the Broncos, 25 yard line. Number three throws a bullet to the flat, and the ball is caught at the 26. Tackled at the 31. Sutton must have been pretty lonely out there on his own, but the quarterback got him the ball to cheer him up a little bit. You know, a, a gift basket, if you will. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, to Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Sutton reels in the football and tries to get free. First down, Bronco. Eventually shoved out at the 34. First down. Sutton ripped up a lot of yards on the ground to turn a nice catch into a big, big gain. You can't coach that. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. First and 10. Ball at the 34-yard line. Brings up second down. 32 with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the 31. Number 84. Passes it in the flat and gets past the markers for a first down. First down, Bronco. Number 84 makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. A nice run after making the grab, and that's a big plus coming from your tight end. Especially for him. First He's not ten. known for making those big gallops like that. 
First down, two tight ends in the game. Number three, launches this pass all the way to pass the end incomplete. zone. And it's What's off. The incomplete. Second and 10. Ball at the 22-yard line. Number 83 goes in motion. Number 22 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 22 swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Number three, close this iron work, and it's caught just barely past the markers for a first. First down, Bronco. Number 83 is in man-to-man -man coverage on this play and makes the most of it. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a great catch. That guy has real skills. What a big play on third down, Peter. First His run ten. after the catch is what All made the play down. work. Yeah, Dan, you have to fight for those yards in that situation, and that's exactly what he did. And a bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Sutton catches it in the flat. Picks up maybe a yard. Number three threw a nice pass past the coverage and got the completion. Tough throw, but an second accurate throw. Not much there. All It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Williams will get the carry on the second down. He gains about three yards. Williams looked like a perfect back should be. 5'10", 220. This guy fits the mold perfectly. Able to dodge defenders with his slick moves and trick maneuvers, he's also strong enough to take them head on. Number 10 had three guys covering him on this play, and he still made the catch. I don't know if it was a good effort by him or a bad one by the defense. It could have been both. That Oh, it's hard to believe that play worked. Peter Hill had a touchdown to his stats, and he has to be Number very three, happy with that. The extra point. Big play, my friend. Number three, holding. Here's the extra point, the and extra point is good. it's good. Gets this one deep. Watson decides to take it out of the end zone. Back down at the 23. Watson got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. Chiefs send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Number 11 goes in motion. Number 15 throws a lob right sideline and Passes it's off incomplete, incomplete with the deflection. Second down, Second two pin. wide outs on the field. Ball at the Chiefs, 23-yard line. Cooper tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Cooper was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They're going air. They're Third going and air. ten. Ball at the Chiefs, 22-yard line. Game of 
five on the play. Williams made the save, <laughs> dropping the ball carrier before, before he could get <laughs> to the markers. And at the end of that play, Peter, it goes to show you what leverage and good positioning can do right, guys, when it comes to making the tackle. Yeah, and you know, Dan, that's Number especially one, important when you're outmatched on strength. That's a good play there. Townsend lines up to punt after the three and out. Townsend gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Number one fields the deep punt. 27. The 15 Stop the at the 42. Number one didn't get phased by that mammoth punt. He read the field, Dan, and managed to minimize it with a solid run back. The Broncos ten, ten, had an effective ten, ten, first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their 42-yard line. Sutton goes in motion. Three on the first the first down left hand. The catch is made well past the markers for a first down. First and ten. Ball at the 39. <laughs> Williams catches it in the flat, and that's good for a Williams. gain of five. Pass complete. Number three, Number played this pass in beautifully, the rendering the defense irrelevant. When you can make accurate throws like that, the whole field starts to open up for you. Another short pass and another completion. He's really got the short passing game working Second today. Just nickel and diming him. All at the 34-yard line. Number three, fires this one over complete. the middle, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Number 82, but to snag that one across the middle, but it doesn't happen. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but not much. Not a lot of potential on that play. Third down with the tight end right. Sutton, snagged the missile, and is at the 20. Finally dropped at the 18. That will bring up first down. Yeah. Sutton gets open and gets the football for a gain there. Watch this again. He is wide open. The defense clearly fell apart on that one. And you can't leave anyone that open in the NFL, or they will make you pay, baby. Fantastic catch. And, and he is putting up great numbers. Got that right, Dan. He's now got 58 yards on four catches. <laughs> Williams picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. And that'll do it That's for quarter, quarter number one. The Broncos are out in front, seven to nothing. in motion. it up but I don't think he's gonna give it back <laughs> why that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game yeah you gotta love D like that the Chiefs stalled early last drive and we'll have to wait and see what happens here they'll start at the 31 yard line <laughs> 
Mathis tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Mathis with the deflection. Mathis managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second and ten. Ball at the Chiefs' 31-yard line. Number 10 gets the toss and runs into traffic. Crosses the field. Brings First it down. down. Chief Hill gets out of bounds at the 44. It will be first down. First down, 10 yards to go. the markers for a first down. Number 87 has three guys on this play looking for the interception, but they don't get it. He says, I'll take that, thank you very much. Ah, oh, that's a wonderful catch. The defense should be shaking their heads. That'll be his first catch of the game after being shut out the entire first quarter. This is a bit of a slow start for him. He got his damn, but he will see the ball more and more as the game goes on. Number 15, lobs this one over the middle. First and down, it's caught Chief. just barely past the markers for a first. Three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. to get free. First down, Chiefs at the seven. It'll be first and goal. Moore is going to make a great play right here. Snags the football and then really turns on the juice. Great job fighting for that first down. He didn't waste any time. Well, just because the pass is short of the markers doesn't mean he can't run it the rest of the way. He's a true competitor. Number 11 goes in motion. Number 10 takes it for a second carry and gets in for the score. Touchdown, Chiefs! Number 29 steps up and shows why the fullback is such a key part of this offense. That play doesn't happen unless he does his job. And he delivers, so throw a little love his way. That touchdown will cut it close, Peter. That was a big play. Way to stay in the game. Here's the point after, and the extra point is over. Received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. First and the Broncos ten. were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 26-yard line. with the tackle. Second and eight. Ball at the Broncos, 28-yard line. Number three throws a bullet to the front. That is complete for a gain of three yards. 
Sutton easily outclassed his defender on that catch, and he had that play all the way. Another short catch, and that's where they've been utilizing him today. Yeah, the short routes have been open, and he's been exploiting it. Number 19 returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like carrying a single page out of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Chiefs could take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their 38-yard line. Number 11 goes in motion. Number 11 didn't Passes haul that one in, and it falls Number incomplete. Number was the intended receiver. Number 2 with the coverage. Number 15 knows how to spread the ball around, as you can see by this passing chart here. He's getting the ball into his receiver's hands and has piled up 54 yards and no touchdowns. Second and 10. Ball at the Chiefs, 38-yard line. Number 15. Looks <laughs> down, down and Chief. He passed the markers for a foot. Number 87 reels in the pass despite nearly getting squeezed by two defenders. There's the catch and the double coverage. And it really didn't phase him there. Maybe they ought to send in a third. The balls are coming his way in the middle and he's making the pay. You have to like his performance. Well, Dan, I like any receiver who's willing to go over the middle and sacrifice the body to make the catch. Number 10 gets the handoff and searches for a hole. Popped hard at the 46. Gets the sack and the clock will continue to run. Nails his man behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, yeah, that's a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number 87 catches the bullet out left, and he's well short of the markers. Pass interference, number eight, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Williams Automatic first down. Williams on that helmet back there, so the personal foul call was a good one. You can't pull someone's face mask like that. Pass is going over the first top. and ten. Ball at the 49. Lucy, Lucy. Go. Single back, single back. Go. Moore goes in motion. Number 15, zings it to the right side, and it's complete at the 44, chased down at the 37. That will bring up first down. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. 
First down, First and, and this is the seventh Ball play of the drive. Number 19 catches it over the middle and is at the 10. And he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Chiefs. Number 15 makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. Peter, that's his first touchdown pass of the game. How do his stats look? Well, so far, he's got 119 yards and one touchdown. Here's the point after, the extra and point is no somehow good. he misses it. What in the world? <laughs> you don't see this much. And if you did, there would be a lot of kickers looking for work. Watch this. Whip! No good. That is embarrassing. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number seven kicks this one away. Number 11 fields the kickoff at the six. Stop at the 25. Number 11 tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Broncos bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 25-yard line. Sutton goes in motion. Williams loses well on the play and that brings up second down. The 23 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his third tackle of the game. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Burton grabs the fastball over the middle, and that's good for a gain of five. Number 11 had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Calder has a report of it, Susie. Thank you, Dan. I got a quick word with the trainers, and they said he's pulled his stomach muscle. They're icing it as we speak. But from the looks of it, it may take a while. It's unclear whether he'll be able to get back into this one. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Susie. Number three, throws a heater, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 38 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. That the is their fourth batted ball. I tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Dixon hands up to punt after the three and out. Dixon takes the snap and punts it away. Number 19 feels the punt at the 27. Back down at the 40. Number 19 racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Chiefs offense takes the field with the clock at 16. Backfield and the clock continues to run. Harris gets the sack in the backfield. The quarterback had nowhere to go on this one. Let's watch. Yep, the D shut the offense down on that play. They couldn't do anything. That'll be his first sack of the game. Second down, tight end, end to the, the left. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Chiefs are out in front, 13 to 7. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. The Chiefs, therefore, find themselves in a tight ball game. Anything can happen in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Sutton had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 35-yard play that set up a Bronco touchdown. The Broncos strike first and go up by seven. 
The Bronx, now early in the second quarter, this time at the 11th. Cook would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Chiefs, after getting an interception, Chiefs behind by seven. Number 10 found a little opening. That was all he needed. They tie it up, seven all. The Chiefs have it again. Number 19 found a soft spot on the defense and it worked to his advantage. A 37-yard touchdown for the Chiefs. And that's where we'll leave this one. Chiefs are holding on to a lead, 13 to seven. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Number 15 has played outstanding. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Chiefs will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy a small Number lead, 13 to seven. Let's go down to the field. Number 38 kicks it, and the second half has now started. Susie Calder is down on the field and has some information for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. Head coach Mike Shanahan pointed to their run game as an area they need to improve on in the second half. They haven't been able to get first downs on the ground, and that's caused their offense to stagnate. He called on the running backs and the offensive line to step it up. We'll see if they can do it. Dan? Thanks, The Chiefs. Offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 20-yard line. Number 10 gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. Second and seven. Ball at the Chiefs, 23-yard line. Number 19 goes in motion. Number 87 grabs the rope. First down, Chiefs. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 15 threw a perfect pass back there. You know, I had a better shot at it than the defense did, and hey, I'm up here in the booth. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 142 yards and one touchdown. First down with the tight end right. the cross the line of scrimmage and hands up field. First down, Chiefs. To 36. It will be first down. Oh, look at this guy go to town. This is a great run. What an athlete, Peter. A fantastic display. Hey, watch for this one to appear on Sports Center later tonight. Second down. Number 47. Number 10. Got a little help from his friends on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. Great blocking up front. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play. And now second they have a two. bunch of options on what to All try next. Yard line. Number 88 goes in motion. Number 15 throws a bullet to the flat and it's incomplete. incomplete. Number 29, Muffed an almost guaranteed receiver. catch there. And as a Number receiver, you have to carry your weight and make the play. They don't come much more catchable than that one. He couldn't hold on to that one, and maybe that's why they don't throw to him that Third often. Now, he's more of a runner than a target Ball out of the back. Third down, one man back. ahead on this one with the pass coverage and the ball is waiting for him downfield that's a great catch 
It's all about being in the right place at the right time, Dan. Perfect execution. They've stuck with short passes like that, Peter. Well, they know the receiver can pick up a few after the catch. They're getting the wiggle room they need. Number 10 punches this one left of center and picks up a couple. Number 10 used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second, second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but 13. they were, you know, hoping for more. Number 10 takes it for his eighth carry and heads left. Number 10. Left six. Number 10 went up and over the defense on that last play. Hey, it's a dangerous leap over your tacklers like that, but he did it successfully. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Okay, Number 10 up. carries it bring for a third up. time. Yep, oh, baby, no first. No first, baby, no first. First and goal. Ball at the five. Number ten takes it off the toss and passes the line. Tackle that for one. Second and goal. Ball at the one. Oh, look at the quarterback and the star tight end there. You got to think they'll try to hook up. Number 10. Didn't get very far on that last play. And he even had to help with some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Ball at the one. Check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. Another trip to the end zone, and his numbers are starting to add up. Oh, you bet, Dan. So far, he's got 66 on, yards and two on. touchdowns. Now the extra point, and the extra point is good. good. information up on the screen oh you bet well the turnover column has the grim news in my opinion if you want to win you have to hold on to the ball number one took it out of the end zone and while it may have been a little risky he gets out close to the 20 so it all comes out in the wash on that play. 10, 10, the broncos have had some trouble moving the ball recently we'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 22 yard line number 10 goes in motion will bring up second down. Okay, so we you know it's all we can practice. And we're going to get it this time. And we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, and we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spot we need to. Okay, fellas? Second and six. Ball at the Broncos, 25-yard line. Stolen. I tell you what, Dan, the 
pressure is what pushed him to rushing that pass. That's his second interception throw today, and he has looked ragged at some points, I'll tell you. Yeah, his timing's a little off. He needs to just settle it down. The Chiefs are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 45-yard line. Number 19 goes in motion. Number 15 throws a heater right side line is and it is not reeled in. It is incomplete. Was the intended number 87 you know had some room on the fringes there but couldn't Stick reel in the, the pass. Potential for some nice yards but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Second, second down. Two receivers to the left. Ball at the 45. the call number on 10. second down Carrier. and only gets back number to the line of scrimmage with the tackle number 10 had some blocking help on that last one but he was still left with nowhere to go well not much of a game there and they will face third down third and long too dan big play coming third up nine ball at the 45 <laughs> number 15 on third and long. Number 19 had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Up about two, and that will bring up second down. And that'll do it for the third the quarter. The, the Chiefs quarter. enjoying the lead 20 to 7. Second down, both wideouts to the right. Up the middle and picks up a couple. Number 10 played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes for him. Not a lot of room on six. that play. It will be third All down. Hey, Dan, down. look there. Way to pick up yards after the first hit. Williams makes Passes a play on this one and forces Williams. the incompletion. The fourth down coming up. Williams managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning and they forced the incompletion with relative ease. Number Beautiful seven. call by the D coordinator. Ten. It'll be fourth Number down. 15. Fourth, fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. <laughs> Number seven with the 43-yard attempt and, and he misses this one to the right. Yeah, man. It's all right. You can do it. Come on. Number seven, usually can make these with some regularity, but not today. Oh, something went wrong there from the get-go. The Broncos, offense is now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at their 34-yard line. Number 84 goes in motion. Williams gets the call on first down and takes up a couple. Number 50 with the tackle. Williams has been searching for a rhythm out there, Dan, and he's coming up short. It seems like his timing is way off. He's working hard, but only has 20 yards on eight carries. Second and eight. Ball at the Broncos, 36-yard line. picks up one on the play. 
Williams got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. They get the first on third and long. Sutton goes to the outside here and picks up some good yardage. It's worth a second look. Nice gain, past the marker, and out of bounds. That's a great play. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. First, first down from the eye. Ball at the Broncos, 49 yard line. about three yards. Second and six. Ball at the 48 yard line. Sutton first makes down a Bronco. tough catch and is well past the markers for a first down. First and ten. Ball at the 31. The 23. Second down, and just a single receiver on the field. Williams picked up about seven, and that will bring up first down. First down, Broncos. First and ten. Ball at the 16 yard line. Number three just rifles this one, and this one is incomplete. Pass interference, number 32, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Number Automatic 32. first down. Slapped around the receiver way too much on that play, and the ref let him know it with a flag for pass interference. Watch the counter. First and 10. Ball at the 10 yard line. Up With one the on the play. Second and eight. Ball at the nine. Williams three yards, and that brings up third down. Third down. Catches it over the middle, and he's in for the score. Number 10 is squeezed by two defenders on this play, but still comes up with the ball. Oh, that's pure skill. You can't coach that. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if Number he stays on track. The extra point. Number three, holding. the point after the extra point is good it's good they're setting up for the onside kick number 38 bounces it up tackle at the 40 Number 88 is quick to react when the onside kick comes bouncing his way. Watch him move. And get the football before the kicking team has a shot. It's all about reflexes. A gutsy call. And when you live high stakes, you win big. First and or Kansas you City. lose big. Well, they lost. And now we'll see how they recover. Look at the numbers generated on the ground. That is impressive. <laughs> Number 10 takes the hand off and runs into traffic. Brought down at the 39. Number 10, powered forward with the football, thanks to some initial blocking, 
Problem was, they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can second get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. 39. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down, two tight ends in the game. Number 10 carries it for Number the 18th 10. time the and maybe picks Soon up one the on the play. Second and eight. Ball at the 25. Second down, and they Second line and up eight. with three tight ends. Ball at the 25. Number 88 goes in motion. Number 10 has his number called on second down, and he the Broncos take their first time out. Third down, the clock is stopped at 156. Take a timeout. That's their final one. Second and ten. Ball at the twelve yard line. Number ten picks up a yard on the play, and the clock will continue to run. That brings up third down, and it also will take another chunk of time off the clock. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Well, man, they're not going to hurry here, and there's really no reason to. They're going to take as much time as possible. Number 10 gets the toss and runs into traffic. Rips him down 10. in the backfield, the and that takes them Simmons even farther the away tackle. from the markers. Fourth down coming up. Well, there's a loss that'll bring up fourth down, Dan. And while Number it's a big seven, play, the clock still ticks on. Another 40 seconds will roll off the clock here. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number seven from 28 yards out and has it sailed goal. just left of the upright. Number seven misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. The Broncos start this drive of the game from well in their own territory and the clock at 32. You know 
Second down. Second the clock 10. is stopped at 27. Broncos, 20 yards. Number three goes up here. The catch Broncos. is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. Number three spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second down. Second the clock is stopped at 14. Oh, the Broncos, 36 yard line. Yeah. <laughs> Number three throws a hammer on the sideline and it falls incomplete. Third down, one man down. They get the first on third and long. Sutton was smart on this play, running out of bounds to stop the clock. Really the best thing he could have done to help his team. That would have been the nail in the coffin had he not gone out of bounds. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Look, Dan, great receiving yards there. That will help your fantasy team. it go deep down the right side and it's tipped incomplete and that will do it That's for tonight's the game the Chiefs come out on top 20 to 14 for my partner Peter O'Keefe this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time Thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Chiefs stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 10, let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. An 18-yard play that set up a Chief touchdown. The Chiefs move ahead by 13. The Bronx on D. Cook shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Chiefs, after getting an interception, Chiefs out in front by 13. Number 15 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Bronx back on offense after a missed field goal. Number three needed to be on target here, and he was. A six yard touchdown for the Broncos. Bronx back 20 to 14. Number three would find his target on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Chiefs squeaked out a win 20 to 14. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Number 10 is down on the field with Susie Calvert. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You helped carry your team today and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What put you guys over the top? Man, to be honest, we just believed in each other and we believed in what we were trying to do as a team. And then force smiled upon us and we were able to triumph in the end. Chris, back to you. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.